What's good y'all fusion here back to another video um today we're gonna go ahead and be looking at the new skill tree um for forespoken um i don't want to spoil too much but pretty much uh, you got some more magic and now you got a whole new skill tree um i did another skill tree video a, a couple days ago might have been yesterday it will be linked in the description so i will be referencing that as well um so without further ado let's go ahead and get started um first off we have slice uh, you summon a magical sword that slices into the enemy this is a good little uh, close combat tool that is something that i did criticize like the last skill tree i guess um had issues with um you're not gonna be able to fight certain enemies because like they do move quite fast in this game um and, and when they get up close to you there's not really much that you could do so it was definitely a struggle at first of course i got used to it but then now this just changes the game now i'm now i'm really wondering how you can combo things and see if you can use this magic with the other one and how that works so yeah so we'll definitely see how that goes um but this is just a great tool to have arc slice a, a lightning quick area slash with a huge magical sword in midair it won't go as far but will deal more damage it's pretty much just a big sword swipe um good crowd control um we'll just give you some breathing room this time it's even bigger but you got a shock wave with it this time even bigger and a bigger shock wave and, and you see it down there it's just great 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 crowd control you can't be mad at it <laughs> raid slice unleashing a flurry of magical punches which while charging then sending enemies flying with explosive force when released you just beat them up and then big explosion same thing stronger punches but bigger explosion same thing stronger punches but bigger explosion big explosion on that one uh, one of the blessings uh, you have rush flow even faster with the well time button press um, next we have well, blast slice uh, throwing a magical spear at an enemy that damages them and the surrounding area flies further and hits harder from midair as you can see it's just a little spear you throw it blows up deals area effect damage stronger more damage more area effect damage same thing but this time it's a lot bigger uh, so you actually do see a huge difference yeah boom drag and drop um it's the scorpion get over here pretty self-explanatory amplify allows you to use your crafting skills to increase the amount by which cloak in improves your magic next up charge a forward rush with a magical shield that drives enemies back on impact uh, pretty much just a little pushback um, i'm sure that you can do a lot of combos with that um, definitely something i'll i'll explore um fusillade i don't know how to, how to pronounce that but you summon multiple fire resources that protect you by attacking enemies while you're charging up your magic I'm a little protection there for you. Not too bad. Legion summons a host of fiery soldiers to attack the enemy. Pretty self-explanatory with that. Aegis summons the protective power of cleansing flames to erase any attack or defense reducing effect. Self-explanatory also. These are definitely your, um, oh wait, forgot about Crucible. Um, and this one as well. So, Crucible encloses the area in fiery walls inside which attacks power is increased. So it's pretty much just like, like a little dueling field. Um, you, you can cut off some enemies and try to fight them one on one or you know just do whatever that you can with that. I'm another blessing. This is Beacon. 
a light in the darkness that increases the speed of which stamina recharges, but also makes you makes you easier to spot. Soar, climb even higher with multiple leaps in quick succession. Um, so this is more so your mobility slash uh, utility type of support there, of course. Um, it's a little bit different than the ground uh, earth one. Um, you, you can tell um, you can you can for sure tell that it is more aggressive. Okay, so now we have configuration calls forth a fiery column that splatters enemies with magma, which remains on the floor for a short while after the attack. It's even bigger. It's even bigger and can be charged and can even explode even more. So it's much, much stronger. Um, bombarder kicks enemies backwards with fiery force, triggers an explosion that damages foes over an area. You kick them, they become a bomb. Boom. Fire trap causes lava to bubble up, up beneath the enemy and simmer away for a hot minute. Pretty self-explanatory with that one as well. Um, but yeah, so these are pretty um, useful for the close range as well as for trying to um, keep some distance as well as get you some help here. So um, yeah, so this is pretty interesting, man. Uh, uh, this is going to really change the game. Um, I will be doing my review um, probably Wednesday. So make sure that you are subscribed and got the post notifications on for that. Anyway, I'll see y'all later. Peace.